Hey Prabhu, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Absolutely wonderful, right? So we are just finishing one year of working together. So yes. I just thought I would catch up with you and reflect on how was life before we started working together? Before we started working together, I was in a situation, to be honest. I grew to a level where I was feeling kind of stuck in my career. That was the first thing. And then, you know, trying to apply various workarounds. Uh, I think when I moved from an individual contributor to a manager, initially it was easy, right? A uh, couple of years, two, three years, it was a cakewalk. Me coming from such a strong tech background it was a cakewalk, I would say. But after that, when I really wanted to grow as a stronger manager, I was feeling, I was getting a lot of roadblocks, right? So day-long meetings were kind of draining me and getting harsh feedback from my managers. So, and even after doing a lot of hard work, that after, you know, it's not like, you know, I was not doing hard work, I was doing, you know, I was pushing myself every single day. And then I was getting growth feedback and uh, it was kind of hard for me to understand day what's going on here. So that's the state I was in before. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. And then we had a few conversations before we started to work together, right? Can you share what were some of your concerns or thought processes uh, in that early stage when you were deciding to work with me or not? Yeah, sure. I think I remember that. The reason why I came to you in the initial meeting was I was always really good at verbal communication. right? And then suddenly I got this feedback from my manager that, hey Prabhu, you should be should grow, you should get better at verbal communication. And, you know, and I got that feedback from my skip level manager also, communicated to my, through my manager. I just couldn't believe that this is a feedback for me. And uh, that's the first meeting. And then you gave me some tips on breathing throughout the meeting. Uh, and I think that helped me immediately. And then I was actually kind of thinking, okay, hey, I, it might actually work. It might take some time for me to understand may take some time for me to fix it. But then it fixed it like one week, right? So max, not even one week. I mean, next day I started implementing it. I saw the results. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the key word here is practice, right? You practiced it and you saw some results. And I think this was even before we like actually engaged in a formal uh, formal agreement. It was more like a bonus session that too. You know, just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Drop and what, all... about uh, about our agreement itself, about the coaching itself, uh, did you had any concerns before saying yes to like a formal one year working together? Yeah, I mean, I I didn't want to spend so much money. It was that was a big concern for me. You know, yeah. I never thought I never thought I'll have to spend so much money on uh, coaching, and uh, I was thinking it is for CEOs, and uh, you know, I I am not the right target audience for this kind of yeah. one coaching was my original thought and uh, it was not easy for me to invest money on this coaching. Yeah. That was a big concern. Yeah. And what did you discover like in the initial period, maybe the first few months that we started to work together? I think I we had like two or three discussions uh, even without I signing up for it. Yeah. Then I think one thing I realized was this is something that I need right um, no matter what right so it, i need it right so let's say if we don't have money in the picture uh, very clear very clearly i know that i need this coaching right yeah. and then i started missing that also hey you know if if sumit is coaching me uh, it would be good right and i am not taking that right now um, um so this is something that will take me into the right direction but I'm not doing it, right? It's something that started showing up. Yeah, yeah. so you could also see, like, if we don't do that, what could be, like, the, the impact of that uh, for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, because, you know, this was just one issue that got fixed, right, in the yeah. initial sessions. And there are not just one issue, right? There are multiple, multiple issues yes. that I saw the potential to be fixed if I start working with you, right? So, yeah. The big yeah. yeah, and and that made the decision to actually invest that amount also also easier for you, right? Then I to get convince my wife after that, right? Because I convinced myself, but then it was uh, not easy to convince my wife. Yeah. Also. 
took some time for me to talk to her and then tell things yeah. then after some time she also tells me that uh, you if you if you are really convinced then i'm okay right so yeah I, um, that was her concern also right i mean she might think that okay i might just throw money on something right and there's a valid yes. concern being a spouse spouse and uh, the moment she realized that this is real and then this is something that really can help me and i feel that and i really feel that it can help me yeah then she was on board right she was never yes the good thing. yeah yeah and now one year down down the line right can you share how is your life different like what is the like the tangible day to day that is different that was like very very different earlier before we started working together yeah yeah there are several of those right one um my initial concerns of how i excel in a workplace where meetings meeting people and work done from others by others i i started to excel excelling at that right so that is now more like i am a role model right i can tell myself confidently that hey i will tell you how how it has been done right mm-hmm. so manager has to split, you know uh take up a day and then you know uh, do things right i can i'm pretty much a role model for sdms at amazon uh but that's just the tip of the iceberg i would say i think uh, multiple outcomes one is you know i was deeply feeling that you know i am a i am a average person that was in my subconsciously you know i had that always in my life and that is one of the things that we fixed early in our coaching sessions mm-hmm. so coming out of that part uh, has you know immeasurable benefits in multiple aspects i would say one is a confidence level you know and you know thinking that okay i can do this it's i'm not average i'm on the best right in this role and then that itself gives us the energy to you know take it up at a much different way and level and um, so those are some of the direct benefits um but there are levels of growth that's a way that i never wait or look for any validation at all mm-hmm. right i find out what is yeah. right and i doing it day day after day day after minute after minute meeting after meeting and uh, you know no validation seeking to um i don't care what is the roles of the people who are in the room and if there are right things to be said and i make sure to call that out without worrying about the roles and levels of people in the room right you know, yeah i mean last week i was traveling to london i had a 2025 planning for meeting for you know to go for regions markets right it's a huge meeting with my skip level manager traveling from seattle and you know multiple business leaders right much higher than my level right and uh, i was i was like super impressed with myself right how i uh you know present i was present in the meeting and uh, yeah I, how i spoke um, out without worrying about who is in the meeting right so these are some of the very tangible things i would say you know um, yeah that you know gives a level of empowerment that can, i have never imagined that can um, yes yes yeah yeah you spoke about meetings i think uh, like almost everybody struggles with the meeting right can you share how your meetings change because i think that's uh, that's also a big uh, breakthrough that you got yeah i attended about 10 to 12 hours of meeting before our uh, started starting of our mentorship right and now i am attending 6 hours max the max yeah and that's per day that's per day per day yes, yes. yeah per day 10 to 12 hours now it's 6 hours less or less yeah so that is a and then that's not just it right uh when i was when i was attending 10 to 12 hours of meetings i was barely meeting the expectations of the role but now when i am attending like 5 to 6 hours of meeting i am exceeding expectations already given and printed you know everything given to be mm-hmm. shared by shared by my manager and i am a trajectory to go further right and that is the beauty of it it's like i spend half the time and my rating is shooting up the roof i don't know how right so that was the magic i think um you know um, thanks to our coaching to be honest 
um you know never thought you know stopping uh, a lot of things will help me right yeah i thought stopping is for temporary basis short term basis and i will new do new things no that's not how, that's also not how it works it's like you stop it for good right <laughs> delegate it for good right so the, the amount of delegation i have done it for good right okay you are yeah. going to do from today onwards these things you will do forever right? and that kind of delegation it was amazing right so and then helped me hire more managers in my team right because i i was able to explain to my manager why this is not good demo good use of my time so i hire another manager so he can take up 3 hours of my meeting time and yeah. then plus expand the charter to fill me there charter so absolutely i think that's a wonderful example of like uh, shrinking your time in meetings but also increasing your impact multiple fold at the yes. same time right you're not doing less you're not producing less you're producing a lot more correct correct yeah 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 anything else that you would like to share that you like got a maybe as an unexpected benefit from from coaching from working together i would i wouldn't say unexpected benefit but i think uh, if i have to call out something that i originally not anticipated so how i coach myself also to mm-hmm. good luck you know i think at the end of the year i feel like i am i can coach myself right i'm enough i have enough for example even like recently you have discussed on you know a problem that uh, you know the methods after following the methods of coaching now we got new problems right new yeah. issues right new way how it mentally you know the stress is still there and then you know how uh, i think uh, you know that is the revelation that i think that actually that problem is introduced by growth right so we grow and then new problems are introduced and we find methods to solve those new problems and then grow further right that's a true growth mindset and then how i can do that to myself right so identifying first of all okay now this is coming now we have identified now we will work on it and then we will actually get better at it and then we will go further and then maybe we may, maybe we'll find more problems in that growth level right yes. so i had a true growth mindset i would say growth engine because if i am not able to coach myself to that new problems then you know i cannot grow further from there yes so say, you know a lot of coaching myself on day to day issues yeah uh, key bigger level issues or uh, is a uh, kind of one next level yes yes absolutely right every level of growth creates a new set of problems and that's why it's an iterative process right we we met almost every two weeks for a full year we also spend a day like a full day in person when we when i was in bangalore so can you share about like uh, like the way i work with people right the way i interacted with you is there anything specific that you really liked around that i think initially i was actually kind of uh, thinking about hey what are we going to talk about for one year hmm. right. well, that was a big question right so in my mind also when you are telling me about the start coaching right but then i think how it ended up as coaching is at a very personally customized hey what is my problem and what is going on in my life and how can we make it better right so i think spans and tons of discussion hours and hours of discussion on you know some basic things and repetition of those things until it uh, kind of really um you know tells us exactly you know what exactly is the root cause right until we reach there but i think it took quite some time it takes it's not you know we can actually talk for a week or two and we can find out all the you know true problems that is dragging us down it's not easy right? so i think yes that, you know finding out those root causes I think there are initially you found a lot of things right initially you found okay hey where is it stemming from okay hey you feel like you are average it where is it stemming from finding out that root cause started there but then you know we caught that pit of you know um critical um you know the uh, underlying problems right and then yeah. how we again and again 
I on the book mapped okay hey, maybe it is related to that uh, those are at the root level yeah. problem I liked you know how we have addressed and uh, more like reinforced and then you know yeah so because I I remember right I think one time we talked about you bringing your car to the mechanic something around that and even yes. from there we actually went deeper and landed at the same place Correct, uh, and correct. then we did some coaching around that and then not just like the car and the mechanic but like your whole everything changed for you yes 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 i think that is that was transformational to be honest because and here is a mechanic here is a guy who said he will return the car on this day and he left right to his hometown because of a family emergency and then he said i will make sure your car is delivered on the same day but then he didn't do it and then when i called back then he was shouting at me rather than i shouting at him right and it was kind of and then i shouted at him back right that is kind of momentary giving back what i got right so that is okay yeah. i i felt okay i felt okay hey you how can you shout at me i am i you are you are not uh, living up to your promises and uh, that was such a small situation but i think there was so much into it when we discussed yeah absolutely that is like okay th- those are unspoken promises those are promises that i should have uh you know asked for yeah right and uh, i should have recognized that hey you cannot fulfill this promise you yes. tell me who to do right and i didn't do it right and then that is a kind of gaps right in leadership right? and then there is no use of blaming anyone if we leave those loose ends and then you know getting emotional about it right i think absolutely that, i think that's a wonderful yeah. example of uh, taking responsibility right yes. and leading by example correct yeah. correct so now maybe taking that right i mean every single conversation i'm making sure that hey are you going to do it tell me right yes. or if i have to do it i mean who is going to do it right tell me right who is the who is taking up the promise right this is super important if somebody is failing then i am responsible right so i think those are great learnings from that absolutely absolutely yeah and Something. just to wrap this up maybe in in 60 seconds right what would you say to somebody right who had never experienced coaching and again my coaching is very different than like traditional coaching or who is on the fence of for like working with me what would you say to so somebody like that i think most of the leadership journey is you know is pretty lonely and even your manager is not there to help you rather they consider you as uh, they consider managers reporting to them as a very capable person who can coach themselves right um i think once you become a you know manager and then you take up that leadership role there's very little help right that is a uh, you know universal truth right unless you are yeah. somebody like really truly gifted to have managers who are like coaching them right like a very small percentage i would say the very little help and then pretty much people feel alone at that role uh, that's one and then second thing is you know but still it's a big marathon in front of them right so you need to work at the bar 20 years right or 15 years at least right so and then you look for like at least growth right you need to grow really strongly in that role right so i would say seeking help investing is probably not a you know um, wrong idea it's yeah. a, it's a good idea is a right idea so you know um, whatever the gaps they have in their career can be fixed right uh, by taking up like a coach yeah Thank you. Thank you Prabhu for your time today. I think what you are up to is just the start of of the beginning. And there is so much ahead for you and I would like to wish you all the best. Thank you. Thanks Smith. Appreciate your yeah. help help for all the one year. Yeah, absolutely. Yes.